Hello everyone, the purpose of today's video is to show new managers or Plugzio Outlet owners how to create and get started with a manager account. This video assumes that you have purchased a Plugzio Outlet and the outlet is installed, turned on and connected to the internet. When powering on your new Plugzio Outlet, the LED should come on immediately and start blinking green. Blinking green means the outlet is searching for a connection. Once the outlet has found a connection, its LED will automatically switch to a breathing pattern with a cyan or light blue color. This means that your outlet is connected and ready to go. If your outlet's LED is stuck on blinking green and taking more than four or five minutes to connect, please try the reset button above the LED. The reset button can be seen as a gray square and you will need a pointy tool in order to press the reset button. If your outlet's LED is showing another pattern or color or still fails to connect after five minutes, please refer to our LED state video or contact Plugzio support services. Before we start, what is a manager account and why do you need it? In summary, a manager account allows outlet owners to register their Plugzio outlet to an account. This account then gives managers the ability and power to assign outlet payment plans, configure outlet access, and set different outlet modes. If you are an existing manager, who already has an account and a registered outlet, you may skip this video and check out our other video explaining manager account feature sets and abilities in more detail. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. First of all, open up an internet browser. With the browser opened, go to the website https colon slash slash manage.plugs.io. You will get redirected to a login page as you can see on my screen. The website will work with all browsers on your mobile phone or desktop computer, but for the best experience, we suggest Firefox or Chrome on a computer. This is just the same page, I've just switched to full screen. Once you are on the login page, select the register new account option. Enter your email address, a password and confirm the password. For a password to be valid, it needs to be eight or more characters with at least one capital and one special character. Make sure to read the terms of service. You can view this by clicking on the link. If you're all right with what is written, press the accept button or check the box. Do the same for the privacy policy. Once all the fields have been entered correctly and the terms of service and privacy policy have been accepted, press the register button. You'll be greeted by a verification send page where a confirmation email has been sent to the email address you entered. Maybe wait one or two minutes, check your inbox and spam folders for this confirmation email. Once you've received this email, which looks something like this, click the link on the email address and you'll be redirected to the login page with a management account verified message on the top. Enter the email address and password you set and you should be able to log into your new account. Once you've logged in, you'll be redirected onto the main dashboard. The main dashboard will have a get started page with some instructions. On the right here, you see your email address along with a cog for settings. And on the left of the main dashboard, you see a navigation bar, which can be minimized by the hamburger icon. This bar contains tabs to all the relevant pages of the management dashboard. The green icons on these tabs indicate that you have nothing configured for these respective tabs. The outlet management page will tell you that you have no outlets. The payment plan page will tell you you have no payment plans. The wallet page will tell you you have no wallets. And the billing page will tell you that you have no outlets to be billed for. This may seem complicated at first. You can take your time reading the descriptions of each individual pages. But the get started page on the dashboard will handle all of this. The Get Started page will take you through a wizard which goes through three steps. The first step is to register and configure the outlet, followed by creating a wallet to receive money, and then creating a payment plan to bill users for the usage of the outlet. So to start this procedure, click the Get Started button. A dialog will pop up and take you through the three steps mentioned. To register your outlet, enter the outlet ID. This ID can be found underneath the QR code on the front of the outlet. In my case, my outlet ID is 2A236, but your outlet ID will be unique to the outlet you buy. After entering the outlet ID, set a description for your outlet. This can be anything, but we suggest you to put something unique 
that can help you identify the outlet as the owner. We recommend the address or location where the outlet is installed. After entering the description, set the access mode of the outlet. There are two access modes available, public and private. Public is where the outlet is available and open to all Plug Zero users on a public payment plan. This mode is best used if the outlet is accessible to the public, for example, in visitors or public parking stalls. Private is where the outlet is only available for specific Plug Zero users. For example, in a strata where lots are assigned to individual owners or users of their stall. Now we move on to creating your wallet. Enter a PayPal email address. If you do not have a PayPal email address, just enter an email address you are comfortable with registering with PayPal in the future. We suggest the same email address you used to register the management account. This can always be changed later in the wallets page, so do not worry. Next, select the currency you would like to receive money in, as well as bill the users for the outlet. Since I am in Canada, I am going to choose Canadian dollars or CAD. Now pick a name for your wallet. This should be something descriptive, so you know what the wallet is for. This can also be changed in the wallets page, so do not worry too much. For the final step, we will have to create a payment plan. This payment plan will be the default payment plan for a public outlet. If you select the private option earlier, this will not apply to your outlet, but you still need to create one anyway. Now choose how this payment plan is going to bill users. There are three ways you can charge for the usage of this outlet. You can choose to charge with one, two, or all three methods, or none by entering the value zero. You are the owner of the outlet, so you can decide how you want to bill your users. The three ways of billing are per activation, which is a flat fee just to turn on the outlet, per hour or duration, which is a fee to use the outlet based on time, and per consumption rate, a fee to use the outlet based on electrical consumption. If you are billing by consumption rate, make sure to check that it is legal to do so if in your jurisdiction. For my particular payment plan, I've decided to call it my first payment plan, and I've decided to bill users $1 for activating the outlet and then 150 for each kilowatt hour they have used. Now click on the next button and you should get a summary of all the data you've entered. Once you're happy with the summary, click confirm and the outlet will be registered to your account and both payment plans and wallets will be created. Once this is done, you can see that the dashboard is populated and you've now officially completed the get started process. Now if you happen to choose a private access setting for your outlet, you can start adding Plug Zero users to the access list under the Outlet Management page. Just find your outlet and click the Add User button and then enter the email address and payment plan you want to build the user on. Once you've added the user, the user should now have access to the outlet. You can also create additional payment plans for each user. If your outlet is public, it should be ready for use. I will end the video here since this is just an introduction video for new managers. If you want to learn more in-depth functionality of the dashboard, there will be a separate video for this. Thank you for watching and I hope you will enjoy using Plug Zero. See you in the next video.